Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, it's a little earlier today, um, but we're going to do some more hardcore trog spawn. Um, and go from there. Right, last time we left off in Levant. Um... I think Probe and I had gone through, got our final breakthrough. Now I can start putting down some pressure plate traps. I won't have to worry about them getting destroyed. And maybe go through and, what do we say, do like the ornate chest run possibly? We got to take like nothing with us. We'll figure this out though. Do we have any money? I don't think we have any money. All right. We'll have to go make some money. Let's see. How do I want to start this when I have absolutely nothing, right? <laughs> Um, first, let's switch this and check for some loot. Okay. Let's see what's been taken in the city. Any junk piles? Some bread and a lantern. Okay, we can. Yes. Uh, the bread will be good for our. Uh, we me. have some alpha jerky. Let's sell that. Sell the lantern. Let's sell these for now. Mainly because I need like a a backpack. Want to oh boy. Just your regular old backpack. Here we go. Drop that here. That way we've got stuff to put in. Put one of those in. One of those. Um we'll keep we'll hold on to those. Let's see here. Put these away. The eggs. Firefly. Well, the firefly powder. Well, right now. I think. We won't be able to use traps. Except for what we already have. And that'll probably be good for now. Anyway. Let's put a couple bandages away. There we go. Um, I have no oil, so we gotta look for... Hmm. We'll put this away then. Okay. I think we're gonna step outside. Can I help you? This worries me. Because we need... We need money. We have no money. We have some... A few traps. But not enough to get us by, right? So, because we need, we have the Cabal Engineer with the advanced pressure plate. And so we need some of those. But we also need some stuff to put in it. So we need some cash, right? Need some silver. Where are we going to go? He's gone. <laughs> oh, there's a free ornate chest in the garden, right? We can take a look at what's in there real quick. We're going to have to... We should be able to sort of sneak in there, right? Trogs are considered, like, naked. So we're, like, super sneaky.
What's the weather? It's cold. Hmm. Smoke rot? Perfect. Can't go wrong with smoke rot. It's rot, right? Or is it root? It's root. Smoke root. Sorry. Sorry. It's like a chest over here, right? Oh, it's a supply cache. Okay. That's fine. We'll take those. Unicyclic, what's going on, man? Gar, gar, gar. Absolutely right. Which one is the gar, gar? There, there it is. Oh, yes. How are you, sir? Welcome. I appreciate that. I truly, I truly do. Thank you so much. We need some money, right? We need a ton of money. So we are got to sneak around here a bit. Maybe take some, uh, oh, oh, they can't see us. We're too sneaky. Oh, he saw us. Ran right by him. Perfect. There we go. We got some money. Excellent. Oh, he saw us. But thank you again for that sub. Three months. That's amazing. Get a little badge change. Well, it would be a badge change. <laughs> But yes, thank you, thank you. Let's go sell this stuff real quick, right? Get some little little money. Maybe pick up some pressure plate traps. Yeah, we can't. We came out to Levant, and of course, being the the newbie trog that I am, I forgot to bring my uh, my staff. We we picked up the Jade Lich staff and I forgot to bring it which would have really helpful right with all the what is it it's not the nerve gas is it it's the other gas the toxic gas or something like that that probably would have helped I also still need to make the <clears throat> well I guess it wouldn't have mattered for that particular one it would have been this one but what what's that other one it's only 20% on top of the yeah that's true that's true yeah, as soon as I said that, I was like, wait a minute. I don't have that other um, armor, but that's not the one that I'd use anyway, right? I just thought about that. I'd be using this one anyway. Can I? This worries me. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm actually going to sell these for now because I need the cash, which you don't have. So I'm going to take all these and then I'll take that back. There we go. Let's go to the engineer. I finally made it to Monsoon to start the holy mission. Nice. We actually, I actually started the holy mission probably a lot sooner than I should have. Um, but we're going to mess around with it. Almost died in the spire of light using the unknown arena spear. I saw you yesterday oh, make that oh, and, uh, I was I was lurking at the end there and I saw you make it and um your first thought is exactly the same thing that I had was is that every time you look at it it absolutely looks like a <clears throat> excuse me a hailbird 100% like it almost I think it's the the end of it right it needs to be maybe smaller it looks literally like a hailbird yeah, every time. Uh, even with the max impact from uh, Gargar, Golem, Elixir, and Amplified Rage, it didn't stagger basic enemies. What? Really? Oh, and that's because it's a spear, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. It looks so cool, though. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. Uh, yeah, the Toxic Charge. So we need a few of these, right? How many can I buy of each?
Maybe one now. There we go. Yep. Okay. We're on our way. Should I? Ooh, I can probably buy like one more charge. There we go. Perfect. Now that's better. Now we got stuff set up for our traps. Yeah, I couldn't even stagger enemies. Man, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What does it have anyway? I didn't even see. Where's my... Uh... Wiki. Uh, I should probably just go to the spear. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, 35? Wow, that's rough. Yeah, holy cow. Yeah, what's the highest impact for spear anyway? 40? Oh, just... Okay. Yep. The Vigilante Spear. That's the highest, yeah. That's... Yep. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Okay. Can you get any sulfuric mushrooms here? I mean, not that we need it, but if I'm going to take out, try to take out the guardian of the I compass. This is troubling. I'll just sell it. There we go. I don't even know if there are any sulfuric. Maybe in the sand rose cave? Um, let's put this away. We can put some cloth away. Put these away. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Got a weather defense. Got a lightning. Okay. Yep. Beetle. I actually think I need a tent. Do I have enough? I do have enough, right? Tents. The, the plant tent for the can time being is only like me. 14. Yep, that's perfect. That's fine. Just to get rid of this burnt stamina. I don't know who lives here. But I live here now. That is a random door. Do you think this is like a back door? Hmm. Alright. Let's get rid of this. Four, maybe? Uh, you can get him in a sand row cave? I was worried about that. <laughs> I was worried about that. That place is a nightmare for me. I just, I have a feeling I am gonna die. <laughs> but we, we have our traps now. I may, I think I want to try to do the electric lab. That, that, that feels safer. I think I'm going to do that. Do the ornate chest for a minute or two. And then, um... Then maybe try the sand rose. I have to be, uh, I have to, we, I do have this start, started up. Both of the, the Vandeval and the, the, the questions and corruption has started. So I'm not sure if I want to go there. Mainly because if I do the ornate chest run, get some money, and then luggishly go back to Emrakar, I can get like safer, uh, sulfuric mushrooms there. I just have to uh, take everything with me. All right, can I get this guy this time? No. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No. Oh. Ah. Yes, fall. Oh man, he lived. You can teach me the key. Teach me. Teach me, Sifu. Do you got to run in front of them? Or do you bring them to, like, other people? There, there, there definitely has to be a key, right? Teach me the ways of the jewel bird killing. Oh, okay. Yo. That's big brain right there. They can only turn once every six seconds. So you kind of just run ahead of them. 
doing a little count. Yep. Head of them to bait their turn and then run ahead of the new trajectory and swing in front of them. Got it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. It's easier with Gudgel, of course. Okay. Yeah. Do you normally put any varnish on, or you just get your like biggest one? I'm sure that the the Sar Helberg would work pretty well. Just a matter of like getting them, getting in front of them. There we go. I'm ready now. Just whack him three times. Don't waste. That's what I figured. Perfect. All right. Let's do this. Bring it on. Oh, come on. Yes. There we go. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to the slow SAR weapon. I will take what we can. Do we have any jerky? Or anything like that to help out? No jerky? Oh, well, I mean, we got alpha jerky. We'll probably have to eat the alpha jerky soon enough anyway. All right, let's wait for the next bandage real quick. Here we go. How much cloth did I have? Okay, so I can make a couple. Perfect. Yes, come down here. Yes, here we go. All right, should we bait the other guys? Do I have enough pack pocket? Ooh, I'm gonna have to switch. Let's see if we can't get this chest up here to see what's in it. Well, I mean, technically, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We have more stuff to put in here now, don't we? Yep, I forgot. I forgot how amazing these things are. You can put the stones in it. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Come this way. Step into my web. Oh, I put the wrong one. Oof. I get all three of them? Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Let me take all these. Yeah, I totally forgot that you could put the stones in there. As long as they don't as long as they're not duds, right? There we go. All right, what's in the chest? Okay, I like that. We can technically put that in our um, tripwire trap if we really wanted to. Oh, 
how often do you see good animation dead? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, I, I feel like the last time I did Trog, I can't remember if I've ever seen Ghost Eye, Cold Stone, Fire Stone, etc. That's a tr that's a good question. <gasps> Is that the issue then? Did we get one clo step closer to figuring it out? Is it the gases? I can't remember. For some reason, I thought... I could be wrong. I'd have to check the VOD. But some reason, I thought when I did the Guardian of the Compass last Trog run... I was using fire stones getting duds. I thought, but I, I very well could be wrong. Yeah, I always thought it was like proximity with these things. Yeah, I can't remember Ghost Eye Coldstone. Yeah. I it that that's very good. I don't I can't be a hundred percent. Hold on, hold on. Nope. I I'm gonna I I think you're onto something with this attacking. I wanna make sure that they're not like Oh, you're kidding. I scared of you. Yep, there's a dud right there. I, I think it's got to do with that... That attacking, man. I'm off to work. Good to see you only for a moment. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Unicyclic. Have a good day at work. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think you're onto something with that attacking... Something doesn't feel right. Let's eat this one. That's got really good and a bandage. Did I bring any teas? But uh, but thank you again for that sub. I know you probably took off by now, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Gurnburn, what's going on, man? Thank you, sir, for that lurk. We are doing some trog. A little gar gar gar. Attacking some sword golems here. Trying to figure out how well we can do these traps. Um, what should we do? We should do a little incendiary. Huh? Come here. There we go. Got him. Still trying to be careful. Oh, nope, nope. There we go. Okay. We're working this out. I think, can we make the... We can, right? We just need a palladium. And we got that? Okay. Let's do that. That's good money. Yep. Take this one back. Right? Because we're a mix, right? We're not a full we're not a full trap trog. We got some melee in us. Put this down. Let's switch it up here. Let's do uh the Grokrog. Oh, I missed it because of my pouch. Bring it in, yes. No, oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Let's go to this one. Let's grab our act or our spear here. Right? Good money. I mean, it's good. It's good to use too, but I don't know if I want to use the spear. I'm not a fan of the spear move set with Trog. I don't know why. Maybe this one will be better because it's quicker. But I like the overhead, right? Like you swing, 
and then you swing like over your head. Whereas the spear, it's just like the double forward without the, like the great thing about spear is um, with like the human is it's got the, the move set, right? Where you can like do like two forward and then one back. Or you could do like, uh, or is it one forward, one back, and then two forward, or two normal and one forward? Um, I like that move set, but with the the trog, it's just double forward. That, that's about it. Or you can like spin around. But you can do that with uh, the the Hailberg too. It, the Hailberg just has like that overhead. Um, which I enjoy. So we'll probably end up selling it. But we'll, we'll find out. It's the only good weapon with uh, lightning damage. So it may be worth holding on to, but it's kind of tough, right? Randy, what's going on? <laughs> Trog Knuckles are right, right? How uh, How crazy would that be, man? Just trogs getting in your face with knuckles. Let's see here. I need my weather. Oh, that's not going to work. Do I have a... Uh-oh. Uh there we go. We'll eat this. Perfect. I was like, I don't... I'm going to have to pick up some more... Um, whatchamacallit. Cactuses. Otherwise, I'm going to be in over my head with the weather. Uh, realistic, you can observe how the strong the trog legs are. Oh, right? Their default, uh, is their default. Yeah. I mean, they, they do not skip leg day, right? Trogs do not skip that leg day. Oh, are you kidding me? Holy cow. Okay. I definitely cannot carry all this. Uh, let's get rid of the broken one. That's a yikes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, I don't really want to get rid of, well, we have four of that, so we'll get rid of the, I guess we're just, we'll hold on to this for now. It sells for like, oh goodness, in Levant, I don't even know, like 380 or 400 or something. <laughs> trogs do not skip leg month. Absolutely right. There is no skipping when you're a trog. You know what? We may have to just head home. Let's go this way. Or do we have to go across the bridge? I think we have to go across the bridge. Yep. Okay. Let's head across the bridge. There's a, the ornate chest is over there anyway, right? We're gonna have to skip uh we're gonna have to skip the shell horror for right now. What do we want? Um let's drink this. There we go. Better stamina region. Oh I forgot to pick up my pressure plate up there. Oh well. That's right. That's why I got two more. We'll hit this chest and then probably go home from here. Not enough, not enough uh, pouch capacity, man. <clears throat> Even with our backpack. Got to figure out a way to kill the guardian. To get that compass wood staff. I don't know if I can do it with only three pressure plate traps. I'm going to be running around a lot. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of duds. Okay, well, we'll definitely... I'm going to take all of it. Yeah, the war bow is... It sells for a good, a good chunk of money. All right, man. We're rolling. 
We're going full rolling. Drink some water. We can actually dump this one to help out with the capacity a little bit. Yeah, so we got four more ornate chests out there. There are a couple of shell horrors. Um, at least two that are uh, secluded. That we don't have to worry about other enemies fighting. We got the one in the slide that we can use the bandits to help kill. And then what else? I think that's about it. Chest. The ornate chest. Maybe a couple shell horrors for horror weapons. And then back to uh, Monsoon. Yeah. Stats are looking okay. Do I have the... I always forget. I wonder if I have it. Did I forget it again? I absolutely did forget it again. For some reason, every time I play Trog, I always forget to grab the like the steady arm for increased impact when blocking. I think it's just because I'm so worried about uh, the fitness and the extra life that I forget about it, which is really helpful no matter who you are. All right, where can we sell this? We can go to the Alchemist, right? All right, you better have the money, buddy. How can this is troubling? 360. Oh, 405. Look at that. Oh, he does not have any money, buddy. All right, what do we want from you? What do we want from you? Nothing. I don't think I need any of that. I don't want to spend this much just to get rid of the tainted when I can use something else. Um, mm -mm -mm. what are we selling here? That looks better. A gem. Hackamite. Okay. Well, that was probably actually a bad thing. We should probably keep all the gems. How can this is troubling. There we go. This guy's got them all. Actually, we'll take his gems too. All right. Anything else? We can sell that. Sell one of these for now. Get it out of our, our pocket. Otherwise, I think we got to keep everything else. Maybe two of these? One of these? I don't know. I can't really stay here, right? I can't really set up shop here. We got to get back. Listen. Oh, boy. There we go. Actually, I was going to make... Um, hold on a minute. Let's go talk to uh, Pigeon Eye, right? Unlock Tamara. And all the other stuff. I got everything from what this guy, right? Yeah, okay. Got all my passives. You look like you've been around. Spare a few It's a nice silver. goatee. Hey. Mate, you look like thanks. You got it. I'm you really helped. I see it. I see it all from up here. We want to oh, unlock good. um you that free that spear, right? Is barely holding together. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All that perfect. Get that free iron spear, the free pistol that we can't use but sells for like 72 silver. Listen. Oh, boy. Listen. You got it. Excellent. Okay, a couple bandages. 
There we go. Okay, great. Alright, let's go to our bag. We can sleep and hit the other chests. Put these away. We don't need any of the, the money, right? We don't need any money, buddy. Um, I'm going to put one away. I don't know if I need it. Okay, does that look good? I think that looks pretty good. For now. Okay, let's sleep. Should we go out in the nighttime? Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, now we won't have to worry about the, the heat for a little bit. Then we have a, we have a Gabbery Tartine as well as a smoke rot, uh, root to help us if we really need help with uh, our, whatchamacallit, the cold. Drink some water. There we go. Do I have any? Nope, that's fine. All right, let's do this. Let's go, go. All right, so we got four more ornate chests. Right, well, I guess technically only three, but the fourth one is with a shell horror. So we have to figure out if I'm going to actually kill him or not. Um, which way do I want to go? I want to go this way. Whoa. Towards the walled garden. And then back over the bridge like we did. We'll probably do the... The Guardian of the Compass last. Like on our way out. That's so cool. Um, that way we can take the staff and head back towards Emmercar and, and the Hollowed Marsh. Um, right here. Don't skip anything. Perfect. Yeah, once we get, not that we're going to do it, but once we get the Compasswood staff, we can actually kill the the Manticore a lot easier if we needed to. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it, Randy. Yeah, man, we got to get the, we got to get the Guardian. Ooh, got some oil here too. I forgot about that. Yeah, man, it's uh, just going through the motions, right? Trying to... Th Think out loud. What's what's first and what's next? You know. Little conversation on our way to uh, the ornate chess. Trying to figure out who we need to who we need to kill. How we need to survive. Oh. Can't forget about the cactuses. What are you doing? There we go. Alright, what do you think's in here this time? Hopefully not the wolf plate armor. Oh, that old legionnaire spear. Ha <laughs> ha. The range on this bad boy. I think Manavar is the top five of annoying enemies non Caldera. I would have to agree with you. Absolutely. They're they're so agile, right? Like it's insane. Is there another one on this side? No, right? It's on the Yeah, it's on the other side of this. 
We're going to be doing a lot of rolling. Yeah, I don't even know if I've, like, got their move set down either. Um, just because of how quick they are. Like, my process with those things are kill it as quickly as possible. Um, they show too obvious that the enemies have infinite stamina. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's insane. Like, there's no, like, outrunning it, right? Unless you... Your movement speed is, like, way higher. You can't really outrun it. It will follow you. And it doesn't have to worry about stamina. Yeah. Like, with some of the bandits, you can tell, like, they're, they're like, running... And then they, like, sprint towards you, but then they stop and slow down. Uh, but not the mana cores. Another Legionnaire Spear. That's crazy. Okay. Oh. Oh, hold on, Jet. Oh, okay. Woo! Sorry. Had to sneeze. Excuse me. Um, the sharks are fast too, as well as the desert bucks. The sharks are, um, they're annoying just because of their, the way that they move, right? They move like swooping you and they can almost hit you on like the way back around. Like it's, it's awful. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the sharks. Uh, you know, the other person with, uh. Uh, really, they call that with a Valog pistol? <laughs> no way. We got some survivors elixirs too. I didn't notice that. All right, we got one more open world ornate chest, right? Because I already got the one in the in the compass in in the gar uh, garden. Ooh, I'll definitely take that. Yep. I don't know if I can get this. We'll have to figure out. I know, right? I feel like uh, the way that they roll, the way that the trogs roll, it's exactly like uh, Code Sonic. Like, it, it, it's just like a perfect ball, right? Okay. I mean, that's as well as we can ask for that's pretty good but yeah i can if you can <laughs> can you imagine if we were fighting the trogs and they started rolling like this to like get away with us that would be crazy um i found something out a really obnoxious other day the soroko arena enemies tend to millisecond roll really Um, from the prismatic knuckles as if they are sc interesting. That's incredibly annoying, especially if that's like your main source of damage, right? Uh oh, let's see here. What can I do to fight the cold smoke rot smoke root? There we go. Perfect. Those things are invaluable in the nighttime. I got to get more of those. They weigh, they're very, the weight is very small. Yeah, with patience, almost only reliable uh, search of damage. Yeah. The wind and view knuckles does a lot of impact, but still. Yeah, right. No, I, I, I agree. That would not be fun at all. The Sirocco Arena, are you talking about, to give me a better idea, are you talking about like the Gladiator Arena ones where you have to fight the humans or the, the humanoids? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, I almost feel like they, the humanoid fightings are very different than like a uh, monster or mob fighting. Like, if you did the Caligre Arena, I feel like those enemies just, like, accept it. Whereas the humans, yeah, they, they almost scripted them very differently.
Oh, you got to love that rogue engineer uh, breakthrough to help with that role. Um, I bugged his drones because he kind of dies and like, yeah, right? Two pr prismatics. There is, uh, I know that every now and then those, uh, those drones bug out. Like, depending on how you kill them or how fast they stand up and they follow you, but they don't actually attack you because they're waiting for commands. That's happened to me quite a bit, if that's what you're talking about. Um, let's put away this gem. I need a couple more of the tripwire traps. We can put these away for a minute. A couple of these. All of these. Let's see. We want to. Then we can sell this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Who are we going towards? The blacksmith had all the money, right? He had like all the gold bars. Listen. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Now we can put on go-go. All right. Got that. 17. I like it. All right. So how are we going to do this? I need uh, some cloth. I need some trees. And we can make... Some tripwire traps, right? There we go. I think I can grab a couple more cloth from the slums, right? The slums has like a whole bunch of like cloth and armor to break down. Oop, Tamara's here. Let's check this stuff real quick first. Because we need some cloth for kind of for the tripwire traps, right? Yep, I can... Just to get ready for him. Oh, we actually need that. Oh, that's actually really good. I'll hold on to the hailbird. Or, sorry, the the pickaxe. Yep, take that. Oh, okay. Do we need an alchemy kit? I don't know if we need an alchemy kit. Let's check out Tamara real quick. See if she's got anything good. Maybe we can get some horror shittens from her. You touch it, you buy it. Nope. Nothing good. Okay. So now we at least... I mean, I guess we don't need the alchemy kit, but it's good to have, right? Just to see if we can't make anything before we leave. Because what day... This was day 8, so 9, 10, 11... We're on 16. Oh, I think I still have something to sell. Want to buy? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Sell that. I'll keep that for now. Because there's a couple. Should I buy all these? Maybe just two. Uh, there's a couple rich iron veins that we could take a look at. Not that we would need them, but you never know. There we go. And the good thing is we found this stuff, so we don't have to worry about, um, like, worry too much about leaving it without, uh, spent, like, wasting our money. Um, I actually need that now that I think about it. There we go, and get some needle tees. There we go. Perfect. All right, so how are we doing this now? Put this away. We have five of those. Got two of those. Two of those. We got some tees for us. Got some water. Um, we'll throw the pickaxe in here. Throw away those. 
Um, let's just do five. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So do we have enough? I don't think we have enough stuff. We'll bring this with us to take on. I think we're going to end up potentially only doing... Oh, you know what? Let's go to the other side first. Um, and by that, I mean, let's take on the shell horror that's near the Immaculate. Because we're going to need the Predator Bones from like those like small Illuminators to make our horror weapon. So let's take on those first. Yeah. And, and they, there's also palladium over there that we can uh, get. Which we can actually dump this one. Right? So we got more stuff. More stuff to throw. Two of those. Weather defense. Needle tees. Lightning. Do we need lightning? I guess to put on that for the shell horror, we can uh, boost our lightning damage. Okay. Let's drink. Are we doing anything? No, we. Let's go. Let's grab the cactus. Munch on that while we're out and about. There we go. We got start. We got our tent buff, as well as. I guess I could have made some cool potions, but that's all right. All right, we'll worry about the the weather when we get out there more. I think we have a, a tartine, right? Yep, marshmallow. Perfect. I'll probably end up breaking down the pickaxe. Well, maybe. I guess it depends. We'll have to see. I think there's a chest over here. What's in here? Well, hot dog. Look at that. Stability potions, rage, and a jewel. We can make... Oh, we can make the... The whatchamacallit now. The... I can't pronounce it. Okay, hold on. How are you going? That way? Okay. Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I can't put on go go. I don't. My weight's too high. All right, let's drink uh, or eat one of those cactus. There we go. Perfect. We are headed over here to the shell horror. Oh, what's up? Caravan hanging out here. Greetings, friend. Greetings. I'll take this. Get rid of some of my silver. These palladiums. I think there's at least two here, right? Ooh, gravel beetle's good. Predator bones. There's an, oh, there's an ornate chest here too. I forgot about that. So we're not going to go into the Immaculate because we joined the Holy Mission. He's going to attack us. 
And I don't feel like um, taking on an immaculate right now. There we go. Predator bone. What's in the chest? Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Put all that stuff in the pressure plates. Alright, let's set this up here real quick. Um, what should we do? Yep. And then, which one do we have more of? Okay. Let's see, drop this, drop this, drink this. No, sir. Oh, you like that? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I can do better. There we go. All right, I'm ready now. Sort of. Drink my water. Oh, yes. Oh. Look at that one hit stagger. No. Oh. All right, we'll let the trap finish him off. Get over here. Yes. That's beautiful. Boring. You're crazy. That was amazing. <laughs> I loved it. You never know how much damage you're going to take when you get hit on the trog. I'll never know. Could have ended him with the pickaxe trap. Whatever, man. I needed the pickaxe. <laughs> I needed it. What is the pickaxe? Is that a, the, oh, that's a hammer. It's surprising. I figured that the pickaxe would be a, uh, like a hail bird. All right. I think there's one more, uh, palladium over here. And then we can head back to make our horror weapon for some money. There we go. Excellent. What's our... I think I'm going to get rid of the pickaxe now. I think I don't need... I don't need any more scrap. I think I'm just going to drop it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, sir. Pardon me. All right, let's head back. Make our horror weapon and then... Um, and then the guardian, right? I don't think I'm going to go through, since we only have exactly two Predator Bones, the only way to get more Predator Bones would either getting being lucky from the Shell Horror or the Manticore. And the Manticore has a chance of dropping like five Predator Bones, um, but knowing my luck, that's not going to happen. The last time I killed the, the Manticore, he dropped one Predator Bone. But otherwise, we got all the ornate chests except for, uh, I'm trying to think, some of the easier ones would be the the Cabal Wind, the wind Tower, right here. That one has a Shell Horror and an ornate chest. But I feel like I'm just nitpicking at that point. I think we can make this horror weapon, sell it, and then take on the Guardian of the Compass. Or the staff, the Compass Wood staff. Because that'll help with our um, 
like pressure plates, right? Increase our the fire damage. You uh you you enjoy the the ornate chess? <laughs> All right, let's get this and we need we have a cloth, right? Okay. Let's make that spear. And do I have a Oh no. The one thing I forgot. I don't have a um occult remains. All right, what can I sell then for the time being? Maybe a couple of those. Sell these. Let's start like packing up stuff, right? To head out. We can make... Hold on a minute. I think I'm going to cheat and look this up. I'm pretty sure... I'm almost positive. It's meat, jewel bird meat, the cactus, and salt. Let me look this up. I want I, I want this deliciousness. And I don't want to mess it up. Yes. It is this is correct. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, we'll hold we'll set them aside for now. We can sell one of these. Okay. Let's go sell in some stuff. Um, do you think Sometimes Tamara... Did Tamara have a occult remains? Sometimes she sells it. <clears throat> and I don't think Listen. the alchemist had any. Oh, boy. We're going to have to get that before we leave now. There we go. The ghost eyes are great for the traps. I actually want one more trap. How can this is troubling? I want to carry around three traps. There we go. Instead of just two. What? Did that get off my? I have no idea how I. Oh no, that that still wouldn't make any sense. There we go. Can I? This worries me. Um, I want this. This overpriced item here. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Oh, you're kidding me. Forty. All right, hang on. Yes. Let me go get my silver. What else could I sell him? Crystal powder. To even out the 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 money. Nope. Don't roll. Can I help? This worries me. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Put this away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put these away. We're going to drink that. Oh, I forgot to sell this. Okay. What else I have too much of? Oh, I'm going to drink that. Make a cool potion. I think I'm going to make a cool potion just for... The heat. Okay, let's sleep. All right, so we're going to go to the Hive Prison to get our occult remains, right? We don't even actually need to go into the Hive Prison if we don't want to. Um, but I guess there's no reason not to. Extra loot. And then come out. We just need an occult remain. Let's drink one of these. One of these and this, right? Yep. Perfect. That'll help with the temperature out here. And we can put on go-go. There we go. Perfect. 
Yes. Because as long as we can get our um, occult remain, we can get our horror weapon. Which is some good money. It's like 900 silver, right? Yeah, I guess we we could have we could have gotten some occult remains in the ornate chest, but we didn't get lucky enough. Well, that's all right. We know where to go. We can use our um, pressure plates to clean out the the, the giant um, bugman. What's the big one called? I forget. I only remember the the unique one, the tyrant of the hive. Is he just like a giant hive or something like that? Do we buff up? Real quick. There we go. And then what else? Stability. Okay. I don't know if we have enough mana yet to debuff. But the, the armor that we have or the helmet that we have gives mana regen, right? Yeah. So we can do that while we're setting these up. Let's see, we got to do the, the fire, right? How do I get all three of them? Is it possible? Yep, it is. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, it got him way over here. That was great. Oh, yep. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Run away from these bugs. I see you. Excellent. This is working, chat. We know what we're doing. That extra impact from this, the SAR weapon, man. That helps. Got some cloth. I don't think we're going to need that, but that's right. What do we got? I am not going to take the alchemy kit. Too much. Ghost eyes. Ghost eyes are a wonderful thing for pressure plate traps. It's crazy. Okay. We'll take it all. All right, let's go home. Make our horror weapon. All right, we're finally going to do this, all right? Horror weapon into preparation for the guardian. I think we can do it. We just need to figure out or... Pray to a lat that 
our traps don't become duds. It's never a good feeling, but we'll get through it. Because there's a couple... I got to think there's um, a couple... Uh, oh, no, we're falling. Um, other enemies there, right? There's at least one beast golem and two sword golems with the, with the guardian. We'll have to... We'll have to kill probably at least one beast one sword but i also didn't find the ash giant he wasn't over here the, the last couple times that we fought the guardian of the compass we've had him fight the ash giant to see how well he does it has not been good for the ash giant but we've tried right See, is there anything? No, okay. Oh, wait, we gotta. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Right, but after this, we'll get out of here. We need to make sure that we go to... We don't miss out on our quest. I started it a little too early. Mainly because I, I wanted the the chest, right? I needed that... Um, the our, our chest connection in our house in Monsoon. Here we go. We'll take that to sell too. All right. Trident. Fortune, palladium, and occult remains. Beautiful. All right, let's go to the blacksmith, right? He's got the money. He's got the money, buddy. Listen, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, what else can I sell? Maybe a stealth potion, a couple poison rags. We can actually use the cult remains for our pressure plate traps as well. All right. Rune caller, what's going on, man? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. What's How going on, sir? This is troubling. We are just doing some trog. Gar, gar, gar. And I need some gold that no one has. Maybe try the tailor. I hope you are doing well. Can I help you? This worries me. I saw you finish up all your um, unknown arenas, right? That was a good run, man. How many deaths did you have? I don't think you had any. If I remember correctly. Or at least I didn't see you have one. That was nice. Maybe get rid of one of these. The char run is goofy? Absolutely. <laughs> It is absolutely... It makes me laugh every time. I actually need that. We're going to be using quite a bit. Let's get rid of this one. They updated it too, right? I got one death to the Elite Crab. Okay, didn't know he combined the AoE and the Napalm. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll have to take a look. at. I don't think I saw that one. Very cool, though, man. There we go. Perfect. Just to get rid of everything. We are prepping up to go to the Guardian before we head out of here. I want to try to get 
everything I can. We got a pretty good amount of gold. Some traps. I can probably make a couple more. Maybe a bandage. Get rid of that. Some water. I don't have any firefly power. Never tried chalk. How is it? It's kind of fun. It's uh, it's very different, right? Um, it's way more thought out, if that makes sense. You know how like we get so used to playing, and we you know we go into the area like for for instance like when I start my character, I always like clear out all Chersonese, and then I go to like the next place. Maybe it's Emmercar, and I like do the I clear out everything. You know, I'm able to switch backpacks depending on where I'm going. If I'm going to the Wind Temple and cleaning it all out, I always bring you know uh, the Mephisto's backpack. The Trog is very like you 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 prep for one thing and then you come back, and you prep for one thing and then you come back, just because. Your pocket, the most pocket you have is 40. So it's very like I'm prepping for one thing and then coming back. Yeah, right? So like with me, depending on like I'll, I'll prep for one thing and then depending on how much weight I have, I can usually modify it and go somewhere else. Like I'll do like in Chersonese, I can go to the, the Wendigo camp. And then if I have enough bag space or the, the Wendigo bandit camp, and then I'll go from there to maybe the, the, the pylon. Cause you can hit, you know, the, the, the three chests, but with the trog, it's like you're going to Montclaim and then you're going back. There's no like additional area. For the the, the Vendival rush the Sears of Legacy, uh, yeah, I actually I lately I have been waiting just because of the the alchemy back the preservation backpack, just because I enjoy the preservation backpack. But uh, but I know what you mean, yeah, having that like bird mask in there, absolutely. All right, so what are we doing? I think we're good. I think we have enough traps. Maybe I don't know if I want to bring. Let's sleep and uh, figure this out here. Do it. We'll do this at nighttime, maybe. Set this up. The only trouble with uh, trog is I enjoy the trap trog, but we've found that, and we, I mean, like um, unicyclic and. Uh, has he's the he's been like the main person to like enlighten me with it but a lot of the pressure plate traps become duds they don't actually detonate and <clears throat> i'm not really sure why that happens and i don't think he's kind of figured it out either um but it, it's really harmful so this time around, I'm doing like uh, I've I've dubbed it uh, the Jack or the the Trog of all the Jack of all Trogs. Oh yeah, do you want to? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. So this is our our, our speedy guy. This was the, the new one that's added for definitive edition to match the annoying troglodyte. So we get essentially our bird mask with this guy, but we have to watch our our pouch space. And then there's the the main one that I run around with. This one uh, adds 100% bonus damage to decay, so that way you can th you can throw um, grenade bombs. And then there's your uh, your knight. Excellent fashion, right? I thought it looked pretty good, right? The the gem matches our glowstone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good old outward fashion. Can't go anywhere without it. Yeah, then we got our knight. Which has got all the protection. A little bit of damage bonus. 
The big one is this one, the Gar Gar Gar, the blue one. That the bonus damage, but then you impact with the the Sar weapon is insane. Almost, almost with this with like rage and uh, what should we call it? The debuff that you can put on them, like uh, confusion. Almost every one swing staggers all enemies. Most, most of the time. And then we got our... I'm still missing one more. But then we have our... Um, our mage. Uh, for pouch base. You can. Um, for this particular one, um, I think... So, like, I think the normal one that people go with is either the holy mission for extra... Um, Extra defense, like uh, protection, but also the the stamina cost reduction and the weather defense. So trogs are like incredibly susceptible to weather, to cold weather, because there's no bonus whatsoever. So you uh, we you always end up getting the weather defense from the hermit, and then you also get the weather defense from. The holy mission. But the other one that a lot of people go is Heroic Kingdom for the 15% damage for all bonuses. Because the trap one, there's one that I don't have. You have to combine a basic armor and sulfuric mushroom. And it is um, a bonus to like lightning, hold, and fire. And the reason why people go that for traps is because you can use the like the compass wood staff with that armor and put in like a incendiary charge and your fire damage is like incredibly insane. It's like what 80% or something like that. So you can you can kill a manticore with like four pressure plate traps. When you when you stack all the bonuses, but yeah, I mean Sorbor would be good too for for pouch space as well as like run speed. The cooldown wouldn't be too bad either for your bonuses because the cooldown for these two, this is your heal. You heal yourself, but you also give yourself discipline and rage. And this one debuffs your enemy with pain and confusion. And so they have really long cooldowns. So the cooldown reduction wouldn't be... There's a few people that go... Um, speedster to bring those up. Yeah, you like this one? The go-go? This one's a great one. I wish it had more pouch space, though. I wish it had 10. Because I end up using... Um, the, the gulag glog, <laughs> just because it gives me more bonus pouch. But yeah, this hooded one is, I, I like, yeah, it's a good one. You get some good speed on it. Um, uh, do I have a tartine? Here we go. Got some gabberry. Yeah, the, the trogs really have to worry about the weather. Compared to humans. Because you can't you can't use any um, active skills, right? You can only use passives. The only active skills you can use is kick. And the ones that you get. The three that you get. That's it. No other passives. Yeah, no... Or sorry. <clears throat> no other active skills. No other human active skills. Only passives. So that changes the way that your breakthroughs are right so my breakthroughs were cabal hermit for extra yep yep you can get caldera passives absolutely yep yeah i went cabal i went um warrior monk as well as rogue engineer 
Because, I mean, we already, we, we can't wear a backpack. No backpacks. It's only pouch. So I went Rogue Engineer mainly for the stamina cost reduction of dodging as well as pressure plates. So I'm kind of, this particular run, I'm doing like a melee slash traps. Yeah, yeah, go in there, go in there. Good luck. All right, let's see here. I need to set this up. This guardian is going to be tough. Ooh, inflicts haunted. I like it. Yeah, let's let's see if if uh if it can be noticed. He's right here, so this might be easier. They over buffed the guardian. I got wrecked first defeat run or d definitive edition run. Yeah, he is absolutely insane. I agree. Oh, hang on. I need to uh Okay. Drink my water. Get the bullion. Let's see if I can bring him out here and maybe debuff him. Nope. Oh, I was first. Okay, let's see if I can get the debuff on him now. Just looking to put anything in there. Yep. Yep. Well, um, yeah, it's, uh, he's tough. So it's kind of one of those things like I'm, I am, oh, I'm, yep. There we go. I'm slow. And I was wondering when they were going to come with that SAR weapon. I got to try to, oh, you're kidding me. There we go. I just want to get this guy out of here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I think, did that one go off? I had that in there. It did, okay, it didn't go off. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that... There it goes. Perfect. Oh, I missed. Yes. Come on, one more. There we go. There we go. Oh, there. Beautiful. No. No. First death. First death. First death. <laughs> this is like four in a row now. 
<laughs> Four. Oh my god, this game, man. This game. I don't know how to put this. <laughs> yeah, the the kick. I'll have to show you the kick. The kick with the trog is so you know that the animation for like the human kick essentially with trog it's times two. The animation is like twice as long as the human one. So like, I don't tend to kick. Now I, I should have kicked. It's almost like a, when they have, let me show you, let me go through this. We'll start up a new one real quick. This game, I swear, I'm almost positive. This is the fourth time in a row where the, on our first defeat, it permadeath this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. N normal. What's normal? What is normal? We get a good one. Where's our, uh, where's our Chad? <laughs> oh, there he is. Yes. Let's change your hair, though. Not that it matters. <laughs> Shrug spawn. I know. Sweet trog. Why? All right, let's create this. Every time, man, this game knows. It knows. It's like, oh, Bartleby's playing? Death. Permadeath. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to show you this kick, man. It's uh it's very interesting. Let me let me get up here. Like the timing on it with uh a weapon. The first time I tried it, I was like, oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Pete's Mace Elixir. I don't, I've never done that. I've never actually tried that. I know that it can be done, right? Mainly it was just the, you need the common mushroom. That's all I really needed. Um, but I haven't really set it up otherwise. That, that Hailberg turns into the Sanguine Hailberg. Um, and it has, um, two enchantments that are really good for Trog. Like one of them, they, both of them add physical damage to the weapon, but one of them adds like, like burning poison and extreme poison or something like that. And the other one is like impact damage and poison but yeah so like we got our trog right and then you kick into attack is extremely slow like it's almost like a a sparta kick and then you have to rebalance yourself and then i'm like i'm like i'm sitting here clicking my finger click 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 just to get in like the kick anyway. Uh, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I put the Sar and Sierzo Peacemaker and Hollowed Mushroom in the slide and then maybe the Sanguine Emmercar. Yeah. The 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 good thing is is that um the Sar weapon's not too hard to get because the Jade Lich um with your armor hey there. You'll catch you are like a hundred percent resistant to decay. Um, so you can just throw on like a blessed potion and a, 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 a lightning varnish and get to him pretty easily. Um, 
So it, the SAR is not too hard to get to. But yeah, that, that would be a good one. Just so that you don't have to do it. Absolutely. The bronze. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that would be a good one. Because you don't have to worry. It, de it depends on what you want to do, right? Um, because the if, if you're doing traps at all, you want the elemental damage. Um, I gotta break one of these down, right? But if you're going like a pure melee trog, yeah, yeah, you're gonna want that, that extra physical. Yep. Uh, it kind of annoys me that picking up using items, same animation doesn't match all the actions. Um, that's true. The, the trog animations are actually a little quicker. Yeah, like when you um, put on a bandage or put down a trap, it's actually quicker for trogs. But yeah, they're all like the 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 pump fist for trogs. Yeah. So some of them are actually a little quicker. Me or you? Yeah, but I can I can try kick on here. So the kick works, but it's just like it's one of those that you you can't get a good attack in after the after the kick. So it's almost like you want to do it at the end when they are um when they're low. I mean, true, you'll have to give it a try. I have found that compared to the human where you can kick and then go like right into attacking the trog I found that when you kick there's like a half a second um delay for them to get out of the way like right there I'm, I'm sitting there like yes thank you that's what I meant to say less com combo potential absolutely yeah Yeah, that's what I meant to say. It was very hard to get the, the combo in. So it, it's kind of like you have to pick and choose when you want to kick. Otherwise, you can get caught in the anim animation. Yeah. Already got that. Okay. Break down. All right, so I need that armor. Because that's how we're going to make our gulag. Let's sleep here. Perfect. We get a, we can get a quick common mushroom in, in the storage that we can cook up for our armor. And then we're going to need the other... We're going to need the rest of these armors. Let's see. We'll put... Uh, we'll break those down. We'll put these away. We can sell that. Okay. Yeah, so we need all the basic armor. Probe, what's going on? Yes! First... First defeat. First defeat. The Guardian of the Compass, man. He was a sliver away. I went in for the kill. He did his swing twice, death, and first, first death. You know, cause, cause I'm, I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing the game. So it's the first defeat. Yep. I had him. I had him in my clutches. It didn't work. <laughs> Rise and a blood price. Yeah. If you cut. Oliel, you heard mother. Um, uh, let's see. You I'm also got hit after staggering him in the beginning. Yes. Please forgive them. That's true. Many of them have lost. If I yeah, that, that delay. You can make the pain. Never for if you could once you remember, you only have a few days. I've noticed that quite a bit more. Your ancestors watch over you. Like there's a lot of trading hits after stagger. Like I'll hit 
and stagger the enemy, but somehow they'll get a hit off as well. Shouldn't have given you all my money. I had so much money! I had like 30 gold bars, man. I had it all. I had all the monies. I had all the monies. I had it all. It was all in front of me. Uh, we can probably sell that, right? Let's let's not forget the steady arm this time. I did forget the steady arm last time. Let's talk to Helen. Helen! I need your quest. I'm ready for an adventure. Greetings, friend. Care about work. Lend me your... As a matter yes. of fact... If I the pay's good. You'll know it if perfect. Lend me your ear. All right. Let's get at her. Do we even need the antidote? I feel like we don't. Yes, but Tr Trog is, is definitely a different experience. It's like a different way to play the game. Because you can't talk to Burek, you can't get Moonswipe, can't get Simeon's Gambit. Hey he actually won't even let you leave. You have to go out the shed, the storage. Uh, I don't have time to play today. I have to run for work. Yeah, no worries. Catch up with you a little next... next. Absolutely. Yeah, I had to start early today. I only have a... Uh, I only have a little bit of time left um, before I, I got to go off early today. But uh, but definitely, yeah, thanks for coming in and hanging out for a little bit. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's sell this stuff. Get some money, right? We'll hold on to those. Sell this. I got to do some work. Good luck with this run. I'd recommend the Peace Gate Elixir next time you die. I'll have to try that next time. Absolutely. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. Rune Caller, thank you again for that sub. I truly appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, early bird dies, right? <laughs> for, absolutely. I wasn't ready. Okay? It was too early. Absolutely. Let's get rid of that. But thank you guys. I truly appreciate you coming in. I appreciate it. Let's sell this stuff. We need all the money. We sell the meat. We'll keep the meat. We'll keep this, right? Because these are our armors. Perfect. We may actually want to sell this later. That's That sells for a good amount. We'll do that for now. I like to grab one more water. Is there something you need? Yes. And then we need our iron hail bird, right? I'm a, I'm a hail bird man. What can I do? For All right. There we go. We have enough to already make the the fang, and we don't have to worry about <clears throat> Burak, because um, he can't you? teach us anything anyway. Oh, I forgot. Ooh, look at that! Holy cow! Trout and a blue sand. I forgot about the the junk pile. No, wait, did I? I can actually can't even remember now, chat. What? All right. Let's sell this. Gotta sell all this stuff. We're gonna miss out on some early traps, but that's okay. In the beginning, we should probably um, use enemies to fight each other. Greetings, friend. Uh, are you selling anything good? Not really. Gotta make sure we get all the gabberries. Grab our fish. Talk to Yazan. I wish I could greet. Yesterday, I was leading our most ambitious. We lost kind of suffer. I'm sorry. Actually, remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. Well said, sir. We got a larva egg too. I think we can actually make the the Lux Liche now. The Lux Lychee. <coughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly what we were missing. Okay, we absolutely can now. That's a great one to make. I think you get like stamina three and, and healing five. What can I do for all right? Let's sell this stuff, right? We'll sell this one. These two. 
Um, should we sell the blue sand? We need the blue sand for... Um, cool... Wait. I guess we don't really need the blue sand. Can I help you? I think it's just good to have. Um, same build. What weapon you went for? Legacy now? I think the same build. I think I was just trying to get it up in there. I like, uh, get the... Start a new run. But it, it's the same one. I only put the... The mushroom and the and the other hailbird that turns into sanguine. Right? I didn't put anything else in there. So probably the same build. I think the same build is good. I just... Honestly, instead of actually fighting... Like going for the swing, I I could have um, used a trap instead, which probably would have been smarter to do. Um, but I didn't, and I think that was that was my downfall. Um, is I should have just used a trap to kill him instead of hitting him. So I think I think that the same build would would be good for now at least. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Larva seaweed. Perfect. Some water. And is that it? Cook these up. Perfect. And then anything else am I cooking? What am I cooking? Um, do I have enough salt? Perfect. I need to pick up my my bag. Yeah, I think I'll do the same build. Right? I, it was uh not a, it was too soon. Our trog spawn died too soon. Um, let's see here. Three. Let's just put one. One salt. Uh, we need a couple more of these, right? And how many more cloth do I have? Ooh, we'll hold on to it. Okay. Put that in there. Okay. I like it. Okay, let's go get our our first armor, right? Our quick armor. Uh, so I'll have st still have this set up. The vampiric weapon in my world. Yep, so we can have the actual weapons and legacies. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Yeah, that works. Because I, li I like the traps, right? I like the idea traps. I just don't want to go 100% traps. N knowing that um, the traps don't work 100% of the time, obviously, um, because of the duds, I think uh, just going like 50-50 is good. Or, or at least I like it. Because I, I enjoy the pressure plates. They do a lot of damage, and they can set like your trog up. Because when you get the expertise, a lot of them, a lot of the traps come with extra impact. So depending on the enemy, I feel like you can set up a a one trap um, impact, like stagger. And it just kind of works out. I like it. Oh, nice. There we go. Forgot to set these up. Perfect. All right, are we going to get another oil cloth cloth all right where are you there you are common mushroom let's do this
Yeah, if, if I had more time or if I knew I was going to uh, die, obviously. <laughs> First defeat, by the way. Um, I would have set up some more legacy stuff. Yeah. I probably would have set up... Uh, I don't even know what I would have set up. It's a good question. Maybe a vampiric one. I think vampirics are just good because it, it's got that that good chunk of life leech um, that helps trogs. I don't know if I would have. Uh, I don't know if I would have done it though. But all right, there we go. Perfect. It feels better. I like it. All right, what else can we... We can buy two of them, right? We can buy the Blood Mushroom and the Star Mushroom. Potentially. Let's check the Alchemist. Real quick. That is uh, only worth set up. Everything else is easy to get. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Yeah, I know that Runecaller was talking about... Um, putting like the SAR weapon in there. And it's like, th that's a good, I mean, that's not like bad because then you won't have to actually do the fight. But luckily with the Trog, I mean, the fight isn't that hard anyway. You can just throw down your um, armor here, whatever this one is. And so now all of a sudden, you know, you're pretty much 100% resistance to decay. It's just like the damage that you have to worry about. Hey there. So you kind of just dodge, hit, dodge, hit put on a blast it's it's not compared to like the vampiric weapon yeah like it's the vampiric is just a pain to do all right here we go one of these one of these excellent so now we got three armors real quick got our knight got our mage And then we'll go to the beach and we'll go fishing, right? I think we need to take our our stuff here. I think we need to take these two. Perfect. Okay. What can we... Oh, we definitely need to get rid of this bedroll. And we can already make a tripwire trap. There we go. Get these in here. All right, let's go back down here. Put some stuff away. I think we're just going to go fishing. Kill a couple of... We need to put this away. The bread away. We can make some more tartine if we want. Uh, we can actually dabble in a chanty a little bit. Poltergeist on the vampiric wouldn't hurt unless you're going to be blue trog. Yeah, I, I think... I think that was my main trog is going to be the blue one. That was, or at least that was the idea. Um, I don't think I need the silver. Um, I obviously, it didn't obviously work out uh, this time around, but that was going to be the, I mean, depending on, it's kind of hard to say. Like, Mainly because I wanted to try to, uh, depending on how, like, I know it may not be as optimal to juggle, like, when I was, when I have the traps down, it was going to be the Archmage that has, like, the bonus to Ice Fire and I think Lightning or something like that. And then as soon as the trap triggered, I would switch over to the blue one to fight. So I would try to juggle it. It it might seem difficult or counterintuitive, but I don't know. I, I like juggling armors. I, I think the idea is really fun. So that was the That's what I was going to try to go for. Yeah, I think poltergeist is good when, uh, that auto repair. Not I mean I don't know about a truck. I don't know if the truck needs auto repair. Um with the new patch. I think it would be possibly good on some of like the weaker durability items. Specifically the unknown arena spear. 
like the Trog Spear. I think it'd be pretty good on that one. But yeah. Armor weapons though, not enough carry space. That's true. That's true. I can't. There we go. Get a bandage. I can feel it working. Yeah, Thanks I think about... it would Ow. probably depend. It would probably be like. Uh, back home just yet. Honestly, I think it would just be like the SAR weapon slash the sanguine weapon, whichever one I have set up, and then the compass wood staff, and then the armors, right? Because that's probably the only two that I would like juggle or, or switch around. Um, what do we want? We need more. Ice rag. There we go. And a tartine. Uh, just for that extra, like, fire. That animation is just awful. I just, I don't use kick. I feel like kick is not worth it. There we go. Let's get some jerky real quick. Yeah, the combo between doing kick and then attacking is just not there for trogs. Or at least I haven't figured out a good way to do it. Because every time I kick, I'm still stuck in the animation that the enemy can do their, their attack first. And for trog, it's just not worth it. Maybe de maybe depending on the enemy. Oh, okay, that's a good. I'll try that. I'll charge in first and then kick. That's a good one. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that kick for tr for trogs. Kick is probably more of a when their impact is already fifty percent instead of getting it to fifty percent first. Like you do it, you hit them and then you kick them. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh my. We are getting the rainbow trout today, chat. And I can't believe this game, I swear. This game is essentially turning me into a, like a no hit run. Like you can't play outward. Unless I just don't get hit at all. I know we're eating real good tonight, man. I'm going to get all kinds of uh, Lux Lychee and, and Ceviche. Or Lux Lache. Seaweed, trout. Just need some shrimp now. Some delicious shrimp. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Do we have another? Here he is. Um, what should we do? Should we drink one of these maybe? You're going to shoot first? Let's have him shoot first. There we go. Now I'll charge in. Do that. Kick. Uh, that didn't work out too bad. Okay, yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, wrong button. I think, are you going to bleed? You're slowly bleeding out. Yep, there we go. Blue sand, too? Alright, perfect. Let's grab some veggies. And then hit the... Rich iron vein, right? One up top. We don't need our hyenas anymore. We got extremely lucky with the first two. See if we can't get some nice coils, right?
go to this one over here. Where our supply chest, come on. Nope. Okay. Break this down. There we go. Now we can make some um, iron spikes, right? All right. Let's head up. Oh, there we go. Sea fern, rich iron vein. Oh, okay, beetle, nice. All right, let's head down. Let's head down, and then we'll uh, finish it from here. Got to get our oil right. Whoa. Perfect. Grab the tr the tree. All right, uh, give me one sec, Chet. I oh, come on. Walk into my web. There we go. Oh, of course I'm bleeding. And so I have to try to remember to um, use. Okay. Sorry about that. Perfect. All right, let's hit the supply cache and then we'll go from there. No coils. That's all right. All right. We're getting in here. Perfect. Okay. All right, everybody. I truly appreciate it. Um, we died. Our trog spawn got our first defeat death. Of course, that's exactly how it works on this channel. Yeah, I got a couple things that I need to do. Um, uh, family, family wise. And so I started a little bit early. Um, but it was a short stream, but, uh, but yes, thank you everybody. I truly appreciate it. Unicyclic rune caller thank you so much for those subs i truly appreciate it i appreciate you um tomorrow right we'll figure out what we want to do whether it's a uh trog spawn which we'll probably we'll probably leave for we got to figure out a good days maybe two days a week is a good day for trogs um but otherwise there's another game that's coming out um the expanse i don't know if anyone enjoys those type of games um but i was a big fan of the Telltale games, especially the Wolf Among Us. So we're gonna look at those games if anybody wants to um, join in on that experience. I've never played um, The Expanse because I don't have uh, Epic. I just do Steam and it comes out tomorrow. So I was thinking about playing that. I've, I've, been, I've watched The Expanse. But, uh, but yeah, so if anybody's interested, we got the Discord, and I will let everyone know what's going on um, from there. So I thought about hitting that up, and then um, Thursdays and Saturdays. Okay, that should work. I think that's a good. Trog spawn Thursday, and then uh, Satron egg. Yeah, we'll go from there. So I appreciate it. Probe, thank you so much. Randy, um, Unicyclic, and Runecaller again. Thank you for those subs. I truly appreciate it. Wherever you are, everyone, please have a great morning, afternoon, evening. Thank you so much.